Hey guys, today I'm gonna continue with my series of SQL for data analysis. Um, I will show you how to perform some simple queries using a SQLite and Pandas. Um, you're gonna need the setup that we finished in our second part. So if you haven't seen it, please go look at that one, uh, link, link in the description. If you have no idea what SQL is or just want to get into SQL, I recommend my first part where I just go over um, some concepts and terminology that you will use. Let's get a, a new notebook. Uh, this will be 03 SQL for data analysis. Um, and uh, since we already have our citybike.dv that has the trip data, we just need to import pandas and SQLite 3. Uh, we can create a connection to SQLite by doing SQLite3.connect cityvike.db and then we are going to use oh, let me write this here. so let's check if this works we start by doing SQL uh, SQL query question mark here we have uh, SQL the SQL the statement connection is the connection to a database in, the, in our case SQL3 is what we're going to be using and nothing else for now. So here we can do something like select. The most typical uh, query that we want to have is a count of a type table. In this case, select count asterisk from trip data. And uh, we have to pass the connection. That's what it say. It's missing the, the argument connection. So in, in this case, the connection is called DB. When you execute this, this is going to load the table from the SQLite and count the number of records. Let's do this. Um, another typical example you will do is select asterisk. In this case, since we have 8 million records, that this will just blow up our memory. Two things we can do is just use limit here. Example limit 3, and it's going to return 3 rows. Um, but this, uh, I, I want a more general way of doing it. Uh, so one thing we can do is to just use chunk size here and at 100,000 records, for example. When we do this, uh, this we're going to start it in res. Now, this res becomes an iterator, which you don't need to understand much, but um, basically means that it's something that we can iterate on, and in order to call the next element, you just call next. Now, when we do this, you will see that um, we get 100,000 rows, um, starting and ending, uh, starting in zero and ending in 100,000. If we call it again, we get the next 100,000. So we have 100,000 to 200,000, and again, we'll have the next 100,000 is um, to, from 200,000 to 300,000. So uh, I'm gonna do something that I often do, that is define a helper function. So it's just going to take some SQL and it's going to return uh, the pandas.read SQL query SQL DD chunk size equals 100,000 and then return next uh, rest. This is going to protect our uh, memory from blowing up. It's going to allow us to do uh, work without interruptions. So the way it works is we can just use this queue to write select asterisk from uh, trip data. And now, no matter what data set we query or how do we query it, we're going to get at most 100,000 records. This is a really good way of uh, disabling or disallowing uh, queries that will just kill your memory. Now, <clears throat> let's get started. So I'm going to start with simple queries, SQL queries. Um, and another pattern that I use very often, often is um, instead of returning uh, and printing immediately, I just save and then print. Uh, this is useful because then you can use the same uh, variable over and over without having to figure out how to call it again. So it's much more efficient. 
So in this case, we're going to check what columns are there. We have index, trip duration, the start and end time, the station ID uh, for a start and end, for the name and the latitude and longitude. Um, and we have back ID, user type, birth year, and gender. So let's do a simple one there, the gender one. Um, the gender query, we can do something like rest is equal to Q, select gender count asterisk uh, from trip data group by gender. So this just queries uh, the trip data table and selects um, each one of the different genders that are there and do a group by those genders. In our case, we have we have to check city bike system data. And here it tells us that gender zero is unknown, one is female, uh, one is male and two is female. Oh. Okay, so here when we execute it, so here we have gender zero is about uh, one million records, so uh, that's for unknown. Uh, gender 1 is for about 6 million records and gender 2 is about 2 million records so it's about 3 to 1 ML to female ratio. Now you can for example combine this with um, the user type and that will give us a nice statistic. Select asterisk um, no, gender user type asterisk from three data group by gender user type. So when you do this, you um, you are taking all the rows, you're grouping them in buckets, the, the ones that have the same gender and user type. Uh, the user type in this case uh, is customer or subscriber. Um, so you're, you're grouping each row into one of these buckets that have the same gender and user type and then you're counting each one of those buckets. So so here you see that uh, we have for gender uh, non-specified most of them are customers um, and for, for gender male and female uh, the ratio is much larger basically most of the people that is either in a 24 hour or three day um, pass uh, end up as non-specified. Non, non okay, um, let's get more examples. Um, so something I wanna show you is this feature of Python that is called um, multi-line strings. That is, you can write multi-lines here. Another thing is um, SQL doesn't really care much about the spacings. Um, so we can write things a little bit more clearly for reading like this. If we subtract um, the, the current year minus the birth year, you will get the age and you will get, um, you can count how many pair of each one of the ages. So from true data uh, group by age. So here we're, what we're doing is taking the birth year of each one of the records, subtracting it from 2017 and calling that age, uh, then grouping by that new column that we call age and counting how many of those are there. After a few seconds, we find that there is about a million records that have none as an age. It's closer, it's very close to this gender zero. So I, I think people, some people just doesn't have either age or sex or gender. Um, then it goes from 16 all the way to 143, so there is clearly some outliers here. Um, but that, that, we'll take out, care of those later. For now, we can just use having um, age bigger than 1 to remove that none, and then we get this. We get this. Um, now we have nice numbers from 16 
I'll still have long numbers for that. It doesn't really matter for now. Another thing I want you to notice is I can use the select in capitals. Like the uh, SQL doesn't really care much about the the uh, case if it's uppercase or a lowercase. In general, uh, uh, the the common standard is you use control statements like select from group and having in caps, and the column names and variable names lowercase. Let's do another example. Uh, res is equal to Q. Select like uh, ID. And we're going to sum the duration. I think it's called trip duration. Um, from trip data group by uh, bike ID order by two. Okay. So in this case, we are selecting from each one of the records, we're selecting the back ID and the sum of the trip duration. So we're selecting the back ID, we're grouping by that back ID, and for each one of those buckets that is back ID, back, uh, back ID, we're gonna sum the trip duration of all the records. Um, and then once we have the result, we're gonna order it uh, by that column. So remember that we're storing it there. So here we have it, uh, back ID, we have the back ID 31,358 uh, has a duration of 93. If we go back at the examples, at the, at the first rows, we see that the trip duration, let's see, the trip duration uh, is in seconds because it's basically this, min uh, this minus this. So between four minutes and zero minutes is about 260 minutes, uh, seconds. So this trip duration is in seconds. Uh, Knowing that, we can take this uh, trip duration sum in seconds and divide it by 3,600, and that's the number of hours that each one of these um, bikes has been used in this uh, data set. Then we can tell some, some things like there are um, many bikes that have less than one hour use in this time this three or four like five months or so and there are many that have several hours um let's see so to we can also do uh using this information of the trip duration we can get a very interesting uh statistic who reads the longer uh, the longest we do q um Select after a uh, gender average trip duration from trip data group by gender. So uh, remember that zero is not specified, one is male and two is female. And you can tell here that females drive in average 10% longer than males. Um, I'm, I'm inclined to think that women like riding bikes more than males. Maybe they just go a little bit farther or they are not, um, yeah, they just go a little bit farther. Um, so this concludes the easy queries.